library friends. I'm Miss Connie from the Hopewell Branch and welcome to our second episode of Biography Shorts for Kids. As I explained last week, each week we will look at one or two people and we will get a short biography about their life and then I will show you some materials that you can take out from the library so that you can learn more about them. This month is Black History Month and we will have that theme all month when we do our biography shorts episodes. So today we are looking at some amazing athletes. We are going to look at Jackie Robinson and Simone Biles. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to show you some different kinds of biographies. Um, we have a lot of these short picture book biographies. You can learn a lot about an individual and you can also see some real life pictures. And I think that's a great way to learn about somebody in a short amount of time. We have them, this one is Simone Biles. And you can see that you can really see some beautiful pictures. They generally don't have a lot of words so they're short but really informative they give you just the facts and great pictures we also have picture book biographies these are my favorite we have a lot of these and um again that sometimes they have more text a little bit more text but you can learn a lot about a person from the drawings in these books and I think they're wonderful. And of course, we also have chapter books. This chapter book is about Simone Biles. And often the chapter books will have um, photographs too, to go along with the chapters. And um, that's a great way to learn about someone too. We also have e-books, e-audio books, e-video, e and we also have some video. So there's lots of different ways to learn about um, people, and I hope you'll take advantage of some of those through our library catalog. And so now I'm ready to introduce to you our amazing athletes, and we'll start with Jackie Robinson. Let's learn about Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson is famous because he was the first African-American player in Major League Baseball, but there's so much more to his story. Jackie was born in Georgia in 1919. He moved to California when he was a child. When it was time to go to college, he went to UCLA and played football, basketball, baseball, and track. In 1945, he played baseball for the Kansas City Monarchs. The Monarchs were in the Negro League. At the time, African Americans were not allowed to play in the major league. In August of 1945, he met the team president and general manager of the Brooklyn Dodgers. His name was Branch Rickey, and he asked Robinson to be the first African American in the major league. In April of 1947, Jackie Robinson ran out onto the field to play first base for the Dodgers. This was hard on Jackie and his family because some people did not want African Americans in Major League Baseball, and they were not nice about it. But Jackie was a great player. In his first season, he was Rookie of the Year, and two years later, he was the most valuable player. Still, some people weren't nice to him, even some of his own teammates. Jackie was a Major League Baseball player, but he was still subjected to segregation including sometimes having to stay in a separate hotel from his teammates. After a while, Jackie began to stand up for himself. A lot of people were happy that he did this. His last season in Major League Baseball was 1956. By then, there were more African Americans in Major League Baseball. After retiring from baseball, Jackie remained active in the Civil Rights Movement. He took very seriously his responsibility to use his fame to bring about change. In preparing for this video, I learned a lot about Jackie Robinson. Of course, it was great that he was the first African-American Major League Baseball player, but none of it was easy for him and his family. He spent his life trying to make improvements for all black people. Here are some materials you can take out from the library to learn more about Jackie Robinson. 
What's your story, Jackie Robinson? In this book, Cub Reporter meets famous American Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson Breaking Barriers in Baseball. This is from the Trailblazer series and is a biography about baseball trailblazer Jackie Robinson that looks at his early childhood, how he became a major league baseball player and broke the color line and the impact of his legacy today. Who was Jackie Robinson from the Who Was series? This is an introduction to the life and career of baseball's Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson, Rookie Biography. Brief text chronicles the life of the Hall of Fame baseball player who, in 1947, became the first African American to play for a major league team. I used a lot of the information from this book and the biography I presented earlier. Jackie Robinson, Baseball Legend. This beginner biography takes a look into the life and career of Jackie Robinson and how he broke the color barrier in Major League Baseball. The United States versus Jackie Robinson. This is a picture book and tells the true story of Jackie Robinson's battle against prejudice while serving in the military during World War II, covering his court-martial for refusing to move to the back of an integrated bus. Jackie Robinson the movie. This is a PBS documentary directed by Ken Burns, Sarah Burns, and David McMahon. And it tells the story of Jack Roosevelt Robinson, a sharecropper's son who elevated an entire race and country when he broke Major League Baseball's color barrier in 1947. The film illuminates Robinson's place as a leader and icon of the civil rights movement whose exemplary life and aspirational message of equality continues to inspire generations of Americans. It includes interviews with family members and rarely seen photographs and film footage. This is really an adult film, and I would it would only be suitable for older children, but it is very interesting and very entertaining, and I learned a lot. And last, I did want to mention, we also have the DVD of 42, The Jackie Robinson Story. It stars Chadwick Boseman as Jackie Robinson. And this film is rated PG-13, so it would be up to parents or guardians to determine if this is appropriate for your older child. But I wanted you to be aware that we have this in our library system. Let's learn about Simone Biles. Simone was born in Columbus, Ohio in 1997. She had a rough start in life. In 2000, Simone and her siblings were put into foster care. In 2003, Simone and her sister were adopted by their grandparents. This same year, she visited Bannon's Gymnastics for the first time. In 2005, she began training with Coach Amy Borman. At this time, she's about seven years old. By 2008, Simone writes in her diary that she dreams of going to the Olympics. In 2011, Simone's invited to Caroli's Gymnastics Summer Camp, but she fails to make the junior national team and she has to make a tough decision. Will she go on to high school with her friends or will she homeschool so that she has more time to train? And Simone decides to homeschool and train more. In 2012, the next year, she earns her spot on the junior national team. She's now 15 years old, but is too young to go to the Olympics. In 2013, Simone is struggling, so she's pulled from competition and starts to meet with a sports psychologist. And after that, she begins a winning streak. In 2016, she won four gold medals at the Olympics in Rio. After the Olympics, Simone took a much-deserved break, but she is back now and is preparing for the 2021 Olympics in Tokyo. Simone Biles may very well be the greatest gymnast of all time. Now, the backdrop that I've used here with uh, the medal is gymnastic superstar Simone Biles. I used a different book for the information, Simone Biles' Gymnastic Star by Lori Mortensen, and we'll see that in a minute. So here are some more materials you can check out from the library on Simone Biles. Simone Biles. Simone Biles joined the U.S. women's gymnastics team to compete at the Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil in 2016. 
Along with her teammates, she sailed through her events to claim the gold medal in team competition for the United States. She also took home three golds and a bronze in the individual events in which she competed. Though Biles follows an intense training routine, her schedule doesn't stop her from having fun. Learn all about her rise to the top in gymnastics, how she stays fit, what she does to relax, and much more. Simone Biles, Golden Girl of Gymnastics. This is from the Trailblazer series. With a mix of spot art, diagrams, and comic panels, this biography celebrates Simone Biles' achievements in gymnastics. Flying High, the story of gymnastics champion Simone Biles. This is a lyrical picture book biography of Simone Biles, international gymnastics champion and Olympic superstar. Simone Biles, gymnastics star. This is the book I used for the biography portion of the video. It comes in hard copy and as an ebook. Simone Biles is one of the country's best female athletes. Learn about her childhood, the challenges she has overcome, and this gymnast's greatest accomplishments. Get the inside scoop on her gold medal winning Olympic appearance. Simone Biles making the case for the greatest of all time. This is a 126 page chapter book. Gymnast Simone Biles was born with a unique set of talents that sent her soaring into the record books. Her extraordinary ability and tireless drive make her accomplishments all but impossible to surpass. Simone Biles may simply be the greatest gymnast of all time. Simone Biles, America's Greatest Gymnast. This is another biography that introduces the reader to Simone Biles. Brave Black First, 50 plus African American women who changed the world. This book is published in collaboration with curators from the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History and Culture. It is an illustrated biographical compilation of over 50 African American women from the 1700s through to present day. And of course, Simone Biles is one of them. And we have many, many more biographies of Simone Biles in our catalog. Just like last week, I couldn't help myself and I squeezed in a few bonus biographies. First up is Wilma Rudolph, Running for Gold. As a child, Wilma Rudolph suffered from polio and wore a leg brace. In 1960, she became the first U.S. woman to win three gold medals in track and field at an Olympics. Who was Jesse Owens? This book is part of the Who Was series and describes the life of the sharecropper's son who became an Olympic legend and challenged Hitler's dream of Aryan superiority. Sisters, Venus and Serena Williams. Celebrated picture book biographer Jeanette Winter shares the story of champion tennis players and sisters, Venus and Serena Williams. LeBron James, this is from the Epic Athlete series. Whether you call him King James or simply LeBron, one thing is certain. LeBron James is the face of the NBA. At just 18 and facing sky-high expectations, LeBron headed straight from high school to the pros. Cool under pressure, he went on to shatter the record books and become the most popular athlete in America. Yet nothing was ever handed to LeBron. As a kid, he had to move homes constantly, even separating from his mother for a time. But through all the adversity, he took his natural talent and combined it with hard work to set himself on a path to greatness. Filled with sports action and bold illustrations, this exciting biography tells the story of a living NBA legend. I hope you've been inspired to check out some library materials so that you can learn more about these amazing athletes. Remember, if you're not coming to the library, there are many ebooks e-audiobooks, and e-videos that you can access through our online catalog at mcl.org. Thanks for watching today, and remember, we will have a new episode of Biography Shorts for Kids available next Tuesday. Hope to see you back on our YouTube channel soon. Bye!